Hello and welcome to this course. Uh, this is for you if you want to sell physical items online. Uh, it could be things that you get from the wholesale suppliers or it could just be products that you want to get rid of uh, in your home or it could be products that you get from thrift stores or garage sales. Um, so this course is for you if you want to uh, sell physical items online and you don't want to go through the headaches or the hassle of dealing with customer service and shipping to customers and so the ideal way to to do all that is to go through Amazon's FBA system uh, so with that said uh, we'll continue on in the next videos as I discuss what it's all about and give you tips and tools that you can use uh, to succeed with the Amazon's FBA program. All right, so in this video, I want to talk about uh, what FBA is. FBA stands for Fulfillment by Amazon. And basically, the, the benefit of Fulfillment by Amazon is that you can sell physical items on Amazon without having to store any products in your house or having to ship them to customers and and handling customer service because Amazon will do that will do all of that for you through their FBA fulfillment by Amazon okay all you need to do is send your items to Amazon's warehouse and they will do the rest and they will even do the customer service for you and the payments are made through Amazon's own system rather than PayPal so you avoid having to pay PayPal fees now before you start selling on Amazon or buying products from wholesale suppliers or from garage sales um, you know before you find products to sell on Amazon you have to make sure that the products you plan to sell are allowed to be sold on Amazon so do a quick search in Amazon uh, there's a page here on restricted products information about that uh, there's also a list of restricted brands brands that you're not allowed uh, to sell on Amazon so you can find that list on Amazon you could also go to uh, a seller's forum on Amazon uh, in which they update it um, more frequently with which products or brands are restricted and that you're not allowed to sell on Amazon so here is a quick list for you you'll see that on here there's Microsoft Apple um, Chanel so some popular brands that you are not allowed to sell on Amazon okay another thing to note is that there are certain categories uh, that are restricted or that require approval you have to uh, apply to Amazon to be allowed to sell in certain categories so here's a quick view of a list on Amazon you can find this on Amazon so for example if you want to sell shirts unfortunately that category the clothing category is restricted and that you will have to apply uh, to Amazon to sell t-shirts and another thing that sticks out here is health and personal care. I mean, that's something I'm, uh, I love to sell in. So that's, you know, if you have some health products that you want to sell, uh, you would have to apply to Amazon to be able to sell health products on their site. now when you start selling on Amazon there's two types of accounts that you can have there's the pro merchant account and there's the individual account now if you choose to go with a pro merchant account uh, the cost for that is $39.99 per month or $40 per month and if you go with an individual account there is no subscription subscription fee for that you just pay 99 cents uh, for each item you sell so basically if you think that you're gonna sell more than 
uh, 40 items each month, then it makes sense to go pro. Otherwise, just start with an individual account. And of course, you can always upgrade later uh, to a pro account and vice versa. So if you start with pro account, uh, you can always go back to uh, individual account. Now, one of the main advantages of uh, having a pro account, though, is that it allows you to sell in more categories. Now, if you plan to sell items from your home, uh, garage sales, uh, thrift stores, estate sales, or anything like that, uh, one tool that you may want to get that will help you a lot and make your life a lot easier is to get a scanning app. Because if you get an app for your phone, uh, this app allows you to scan anything with a barcode. Okay, so let's go through uh, some of the apps that you can get um, in this video. All right, so the first one I want to talk about is called the Amazon Seller. Uh, this app is free and uh, basically it shows you the new and the used prices for items uh, that you search for when you're, you're scanning items. Um, it also contains all kinds of seller tools such as shipping and pricing information and a list of your items for sale. Next one here is the Amazon the mobile app. Now this app is not really not really designed for Amazon sellers, but it does allow you to scan barcodes and check prices on Amazon. Okay, and last tool here is called the Profit Bandit. And basically, uh, this tool, it's not free. I believe uh, at the moment it's a one-time payment of $15. But it's one of the most popular tools out there for Amazon sellers. Uh, it's got a lot of useful features, and it's available for iPhone, uh, Android, and iPads.